Malai noted that sometimes in July 2013, the federal government raised a total sum of $1 billion through a euro bond issue, out of which the sum of $350 million was taken by the federal government out of the proceeds of the July 2013 euro bond issue and released to Nigeria Electricity Bulk Trading Company, NBET, as a shareholder contribution to show up its capitalization adding that NBET is a federal government-owned public liability company that deals in electricity trading and management of associated liabilities. He further noted that the sum of $350 million released to NBET was to demonstrate NBET's preparedness to assume its role as a government-backed electricity bulk trader to provide market confidence in the privatized electricity market. Senator Malai observed that the move by federal government was intended to backstop and bet with new investors in the electricity market, especially new generation companies, and to provide assurance to them that NBET is a creditworthy off-taker of power with the requisite capitalization to meet its payment obligation to both Greenfield and Brownfield's power generating companies. According to him, as confidence-building measure, the $350 million was domiciled with the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, NSIA, for investment in low-risk investment and structured in a manner that NBET can call for funds at short notice when required. However, Senator Melai was alarmed by a retrieval of the $350 million. Senator Melai observed that a lot of questions are However, begging for answers as regards the $29 million paid to General Electrical and the $6 million paid to other consultants. Senator Malaya, however, lamented and declared a situation where executive arm of government don't respect the resolution of the National Assembly. We are the mandate of the people to represent them here. And if our resolutions our orders and the reports of this institution after spending public funds to investigate them will not be respected. They are gradually becoming what I refer to as mere academic exercise. In his remark, Senate President Bokola Saraki cautioned on the handling of the nation's finances. It appears that these, the Lord has set up this authority is not having proper um, oversight. First, I'm told that they don't require any confirmation for the appointment by the Senate. There is no report to the Senate. And this is an organization that is in charge of over, over I think, over $1.2 billion now that it over. And, and a lot of money are being sent there, $1.5 billion, and, and it's growing every day with no oversight at all. Accordingly, the Senate resolved to mandate the Senate Committees on Power Public Account to invite the Minister of Power, Works and Housing to render a detailed account in terms of public funds spent on the Afan First Power Project in particular. Evidence of feasibility study indicating the viability of the project and requisite appropriation by the National Assembly as required by the Constitution and the controversial presidential approval for the project. From the Senate in Abuja, Mohammed Adamu, Liberty News.